fighting for me and uh, keep showing your love and support. Hello. Hi, everybody. Hi, Pete. Hey, here we are again. I was just hanging outside with a bunch of my friends today. Uh, trying oh, yeah. To get, uh, yeah, trying to get caught up on stuff today. It's almost uh, 55 degrees. Yeah, I glanced in chat and I saw you're talking about um, Martin. So uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got uh, both ends are uh, both ends are bothering me today, so I just got to deal with it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, but the the purple Martins are coming back soon. Uh, yeah, I just saw one out there. He, he, he was just yelling down to me. When are you getting? When are you gonna put up our houses? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's exciting, though. I know you like it when they come back. Yeah, I had a set of headphones on when I uh, I got these headphones with uh, FM radio, and I just happened to look up, and uh, I didn't even have to hear them chirping. I just looked at them, and I know what kind of bird it was already. So. Yeah. That's yeah, awesome. so otherwise I'm just doing what I can do. A uh, lot of stuff to get caught on, caught up on, definitely. Yeah, I know the feeling. Um, yeah. I have a bunch of stuff gotta, I got to get uh, going, too. Yeah, you can't believe the flowers and the grass took off, and uh, trimming has to be done. I got to um, uh, finish up with the um, grass, uh, raking in the grass. I think I, I did that pretty much. Uh, got all the dog poop where it belongs. So. Good. Yeah. Yeah, so you'll hello, get there. everybody out there. Uh, Carrie Ann's with us. Um, Robin's with us. Jen hey, Carrie, Jen R, yeah. Robin, yep. Yeah. Yeah, speaking, um, of, speaking of Robins, I saw enough of those over the weekend. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so how's, but how's your week been, Pete? Have you been, um, your, um, you said your uh, legs are still swollen? and. Uh, yeah, that's due to them vein issues. I'm going in actually the 23rd. Okay. And uh, as you can see, I got my old um, headphones on. I call these the Silver Fox yeah. headphones because I because I learned these have a battery, and when the bat it's got an inside battery. When the battery goes, I got to charge it. And uh, the other day, I was listening to videos, and it's like, hey, what happened to the sound? You know, so uh -oh. these just plug these just plug right in. It don't have a battery. So yeah, yeah. So um, I just. Switch back to the Silver Fox headphones, and uh, I'm trying to see. I got these nice red ones too, but I don't. I don't know if that's a battery or not. I got to look at them. But yeah, yeah, yeah I got a lot of these. I like these. Uh, I like them even better than ear. Uh, a lot of people like the ear buds. They're okay, you know, when you're on the go, but they like to pop out of your ear. These these don't pop out. They stay on definitely. Yeah. But that but that's my opinion. So. Yeah. Yeah. You know, me, I have, you know me, I'm old school, so <laughs> well I have the I have my <clears throat> my computer ones and then I have the smaller ones from when I'm at work or on the go, so I get you. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So, um, you can actually wear a set of headphones at work? I put one in my ear. Nobody's <laughs> told me not to do that yet. Um yeah, I figured yeah, I'll yeah. just do it until someone tells me not to do it. But um Yeah, they do yeah. that at, they do that at my workplace too. Uh um uh they they um do you do these little white ones and I'm looking at the sky the other day, it's like they just stick in there so 
it must be um there's no wires at all so they must be uh whatever you call it and uh, and i'm yeah. going oh okay well if they if they're working on machines and if they're people coming in from the outside working on machines then i can see them having them but uh usually when uh usually when you know you're part of our gang you're not supposed to have them but yeah well and like that was the thing like nobody's like i've walked past supervisors i've even walked past the store manager with it in my ear and nobody said anything so and i i you know i have it down low i mostly just listen to like um uh true crime or i have like an audio book i'll listen to or uh yeah i got i got a set outside with fm i just came in and and I'm looking, oh, 1030, I better get in. It's so nice outside of, you know, forgetting the issues that I had. And, uh, and, and it, yeah, it, it uh, <clears throat> you got them up. It, it only goes so high. It's not that powerful, but right. at least it's better than having, uh, you know, I got a, a garage stereo, but then I got a, some outside speakers instead of cranking those up. I just, uh, I used a, I used a handset. Or, I mean, I used a, uh, uh headphones on my ears and yeah so uh, yeah i got a quite quite a bit done today i got up at uh six o'clock i got out of the bathroom at seven and uh you know you just yeah. gotta push it you know yeah so uh, i i get you yeah, yeah. brendan woke so me up this morning saw... oh no you did oh Ooh, yeah, I got me, a bone, yeah, I got a bone to pick. I got a bone to pick with him. He was talking to me on Wednesday, and all of a sudden he hung up on me. So I don't know what that was all about. Oh, it's probably the phone system hung up, not him. Yeah, because we were talking about yeah, we were talking about his tablet and how much his tablet weighs, and what he can do on it. And that I thought maybe uh, they cut us off because maybe we weren't supposed to talk about his tablet. I don't know. So well, I know. Uh, um, if he was using his tablet for the phone call, I know that he's been having issues with it. <coughs> um, oh, is he? Okay. But yeah, if, he called um, me like at seven. He called me like at seven, and what? What do you get? Twenty minutes or twenty-five? I forgot. Twenty minutes, yeah. Okay. So he, um, yeah, and plus he was, the, the he was done at he was done at quarter after, and it you know the girl didn't even come on and say one minute. All of a sudden, it's just that. He was talking and it's and it just that he hung up so yeah i figured that's what it was you know unless yeah. they were listening and they, unless they were listening and they didn't like our conversation about talking about the new tablets but i don't understand why they would care we're not even he's just letting me know how what what it's all about and what he can get and what he can't get and you know yeah yeah and that's what i mean i think i think it was the phone system hanging up not him yeah, but yeah, um, oh yeah, I know he wouldn't do that. I know, mm -hmm. Chris, I know he wouldn't do that. Yeah. 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 So but, he woke yeah, you I, up today? <laughs> yep. Um, he, yeah, we, we talked again about the tablets and then some other stuff that <coughs> people wanted yeah. me to ask him about. Um, but yeah, he sounded good and he sounded cheerful and um, yeah. Yeah. Um, but other than like that, he always, like he always, like he always does. Yeah, <laughs> like he always does. And um, always, my my first two words that come out of my mouth, anything new, and I know that's something wrong because you never. No, I haven't talked to anybody as far as his, uh, you know, his uh, social workers okay. or whoever. Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, you never know, know like, you know. It's, yeah. Well, you know, and it's different because your dad. I'd be asking that too oh, yeah, if that was yeah. my kid. So, um, but yeah, other than that, are you going to go up there and visit him tomorrow? Uh, yeah, yeah. Last week I was really out of it. Uh, when I get to the part where, um, I get this like a uh, bug at it and then, um, uh, uh, I got, a, uh, I got, uh, I got the shits and, uh, I don't like that going up there when you get the shits off. No, I don't blame uh, as you. As long as that, as long as, as long as that stays away. Uh, yeah, yeah definitely. No, I I wouldn't want to be in a car for a few hours and <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, for me, I, I mean, certain people it takes a little bit. To to me, when I used to go up at eight, I left at six thirty because I got to get I got to get some petrol and then I go by uh, 
a quick trip to get the gas and then I I, I pick up um, you know some snacks you know because you got to have a, a, um, um, a, a, some some breakfast yeah some breakfast and stuff and yeah. then when I leave then it then it's about 10 to eight when I get there so uh, this month I have 11 o'clock so what I do is uh, um, I leave at 9 30 and then um, of course the of course, of course, there's more people out at that time, so traffic is. But I leave at 9:30. I get there about. Uh, um, I get the yeah, so it's about an hour and 25 minutes. It all depends on how I feel like driving and how many idiots are out there and uh, right. Who's gonna yeah. take a chance and playing chicken with you? And, <laughs> yep. Oh yeah. When you're when yep. you're on those highways like that, and then when they're coming, they're passing from the other side. It's like. Chris, that guy's coming towards me, and then he's finally going over. That scares the shit out of you when you don't pay attention to that, you know? It makes me nervous, you know, and that's why whenever I'm on those types of roads, Pete, I, I try not to pass anybody because the thought yeah. of being in the other lane, like, makes my anxiety go up. So that, I'll, I'll drive behind somebody going slow for, like, 100 miles before. That, and then, uh, and then uh, I don't mind if they pass me, but I can't. I don't stand. I can't stand it when they're hanging on my rear end too. I'm not going to speed up. I usually go five miles over if you can't handle it. Then pass yeah. me and go. And then somebody do, they do it. It's like, oh my god, they pass me like I'm standing still. I swear yeah. out there, people don't even look at the speed limit signs anymore. Yeah, because you drive through a lot of rural areas, don't you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. People drive like crazy in the rural areas. Yeah, little little towns I go through. I was one of them. Yeah, Linda used to yell at me. She'd be like, "You need to slow down. You don't want to take it out here." <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're one of them speeders. Yeah, when I, cause I, I'm one of yeah. <laughs> and when I was driving out here, Linda would always yell at me, or out there, she would always yell at me. She'd be like, "You need to slow down. You need to slow down." Why? How yeah. fa How much more faster were you going? I don't know. It just depended. Um, like if, it, like I, I, if I was like going through like a residential neighborhood or something like that, that was different. But like a lot of the areas were like open, like fields and stuff and stuff like that. And so like I was going probably a little bit faster than I should in those areas. And Linda would uh, freak. She's like, "There's deer out here. You know that, right?" <laughs> like, <laughs> And I'd be like, I you live in an area where there's elk. So oh, I, yeah. I know. That, I, don't I, know. That'll, I think that'll be worse because I think elk is three times bigger than a deer, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It's, it's, you hit an elk, oh, you God. die. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, I hit a deer and it went flying. So, and then my car got smashed, but I'm still here yet. But yeah, elk, I don't think you're going to, that's going to be like a running into a brick wall. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's why I was like, well, I'm used to that. So like, it's I'm fine. Trust me, oh my I'm God. fine. My mom the actually elk. put this um these things on my the front of my car, and they're like supposed to deter um elk and deer and stuff. Oh, from, yeah, it's yeah. supposed to make like yeah. a high pitch whistling noise or whatever. But yeah, I heard those things don't work. I you yeah, know I've things. never because I drive um a lot at night coming home from work yeah. and stuff like that. And I'm always seeing elk. So obviously it's not, <laughs> you know. Oh my God. So how much of a drive do you have? Not that much of a drive, but uh, the elk know that being in town is like a safe area for them from like being like hunted or whatever. So um, you often see elk like standing in somebody's um, yard. Or walking on the side of the road. <laughs> So. Yeah, it's the same thing. Yeah, my wife used to work at the uh, Point Beach nuclear plant, and as soon as you get on their property, Christ, there's like, um, like maybe ten or fifteen and a, a deer, and then there's uh, pheasants, uh, yeah. turkeys, everything. It looks like an open zoo because they know you can't touch them there, you know. Right. They start to figure out where safe for them is, and so yeah, yeah we got a lot of. We got a lot of elk yeah, in town know. that that just wander around and um, and people take pictures of them and stuff like that. Like it's a little novelty thing a, out here for us. And what, so. is, and what, and what is that? Uh, what do they eat? 
Um, they eat whatever. They'll eat your whole garden if you if you don't. <laughs> yeah, they'll step. They, they step right over over your their fence and everything. That's how huge they are, you know. Oh my um, God, Chris! I suppose a fence is like a hurdle. I mean, yeah, you know, like when you're running, you jump hurdles. I suppose it's just a hurdle for those guys. Yeah, it's just yeah, it's nothing for them and. And because sometimes they'll be in our backyard eating the grass and stuff. And, um, and yeah. yeah, sometimes early in the mornings when we let the dogs out, we don't know they're back there until you hear the dogs start freaking out and barking at something. And then, um, I know yeah, Mary look, next door, she used to have deer in her backyard and they, they used to eat on certain flowers. She'd get mad at them. I don't, I yep. don't want them in the back here because when they eat your flowers, that's it, you know? Right. Well, that's what I mean. It just depends. Like next year I'm planning on starting a garden. So I'm, I'm actually been, there's like certain things apparently I could plant that um, keep the deer away and deer and elk away, but I don't want to like hurt them um, or anything like that. But yeah, I yeah, am. Jenna gonna, says, uh, she loves that when you show pics, pics of yeah, the elk. Sometimes, and, uh, you got one. You got one handy. I want to show. Well, let me. I'm sure yeah. maybe everybody out there. I think my boss. He goes hunting <clears> for elk with a bunch of his friends at a certain time of the year, and I'm going Chris, That's I'm worried about bringing a. Well, I don't hunt, but uh, I thought de deer were bigger. You know. Yeah. Well, let me let me see if I could. Yeah, these things are these things are huge. I like the horns on them. Holy crazy. Yeah. Well, let me bring. I up don't have one picture. handy. I know you. I know. I know you have one. I know you. Uh, I know you got a couple because sometimes you send me a little video. One, uh, they trot right by your front door. They're yeah. waiting for you to come out. They're waiting for you to come out to play, right? Yeah. Well, they'll, <laughs> they'll stand mostly like outside of our yard, and um, yeah, and eat the grass there, and then they'll walk across the street. They're always in our neighborhood. Um, there was a big one called Big Ben that used to come around, oh, yeah, but yeah. I hadn't yeah. seen him in a year or two. I think um, he either died from old age and or a hunter got yeah. him, to be honest yeah. with you. So, Big Ben, um, holy shit. Yeah, he was he was called Big Ben because he, he always looked, uh, he always had like a big rack. Of, <clears throat> yeah. And yeah. then he just looked huge compared to the other ones, but um. Do they go? Yeah. Uh, Carrie ends asking, do they go through windows like deer? I don't even think um, they can fit I through a window. I haven't <laughs> seen that happen yet, but if there was a window that big, um, maybe. Yeah. This is probably, what, two or almost three times as bigger than a deer? Oh, it's huge. Yeah. They're yeah, huge. It's huge. Yeah, that's why I say throw one up. And I, I, know, I know most of the people out here probably know what they are, but. I thought well, here, a, here's a, let me see okay. if I can share. Okay. This is the latest picture I took like a few, a little bit ago. So this is my dog. She was barking and I picked her up and I. Oh yeah. Okay. <clears throat> but oh, that's, yeah. that's the elk. <laughs> so like just for perspective, if I was standing here, like it would probably be around the same height, like up to here. Okay. Like of how big this elk is, and this is a, I believe this is a male elk that lost his. Okay. But yeah, yeah. No, they're big. They're big. Um, yeah, I like the solid color on the head, and then the back is another solid color. <laughs> yeah. Well, let me see. The, I used to. I took these beautiful photos once. Do you even have one of your? Um, uh, do you even have one of your? I know you uh, sent me a little video of one just uh, moving around. Do you have any at all? No. I can look through our messages and see if yeah. I. I know if I'm asking too much, but holy Christ, yeah, that, yeah, that thing, yeah, that won't fit through your window. <laughs> yeah, you're not asking too much. Okay. Um, <clears throat> now, is that what? That would be a full grown one right there. Yeah, that's a full grown one. Um, <coughs> okay. So what does, the, what does the uh, what does the uh, what does the elk do when the dog starts barking? Just never. No, but he never just stare. It. He just looks oh, at them oh. like. <laughs> Let me see. 
Yeah, there's uh, Carol is on O'Brien. Carolyn. Yeah, Carolyn. Yeah, that's all. I never do get. I never did get her name right. So, <laughs> the, I don't know if people have noticed this on Facebook Messenger, but they changed. Um, they changed the messenger thing, and I can't go back in the messages for too far back. So whatever oh, yeah, yeah. I sent you picture wise and stuff isn't there anymore. Oh yeah, yeah. They seem to shorten things up. Yeah, I noticed that the other day too. I wanted to go back and you know. Yeah, that's kind of a bummer. So because I'm yeah. looking at it and I'm like, oh, I can't seem to Okay. Okay. But let me No that one oh, shot just no, that one just shot just recently. Uh, this was probably a couple of weeks ago, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Stupid Facebook. <gasps> and then I post a lot of, like, anime stuff, so I have to scroll through all this Pokemon stuff just to get to regular pictures. <laughs> yeah. It annoys well, me as much, much as it probably least, annoys. Yeah. No, uh, it's not too well, much. At least, I just uh, have it, to... at, least uh, it, it, at least they got an idea right there, you know. I wonder yeah. if there are any part of the deer family, what do you think? Um, I'm not sure, to be honest with you. you well, know, here's okay. here's one that I took a little bit ago that I'll save a picture of, and I'll show you guys here in a minute. And then, because I always like taking, when I see them, I try to take pictures of them, because I think they're so cool, like, just walking oh, yeah, by. Yeah, yeah. Now, if and you're they're out so, there like, tending to something, when you're out there tending to something, they won't really bother you, will they? Um, not really, really unless they feel, out? or do you really have to watch out? Yeah. Yeah. They don't usually try to bother you, but, um, it's kind of iffy sometimes. Like I wouldn't want to be near one that close unless I was in my car. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 But I mean, so if you got a big backyard, he's way on the other side. I mean, I, I've had it where, uh, uh, the next person here had a deer out there, and as soon as you come out, the deer gets spooked and it's gone right away. So they generally try to keep a distance away from you, yeah, because okay. if it, okay. yeah, they don't want to be too close to you. But like a lot of people try to feed them out here, which is actually really bad. You shouldn't feed um, nature like that. Like it's different when it's like birds okay. and squirrels and stuff like that. But if, yeah, yeah. If, yeah. If they're too big, it, the problem is is that if if they think that they have you have food and you don't have food, they'll attack you. Um, oh, so that's why think, you got to be. <coughs> then they might think you might be teasing them, and then they get mad. Right, and then they get upset, and that's kind yeah. of why yeah. it's it's not good to feed um, big game. They call them big game animals, like elk, deer, um, javelina out here, bears. Because, like I said, if if you don't have food, then they can get upset. This is a picture I took of one. Oh yeah. In somebody. Oh no, that one's colored all. That one's colored all brown. Yeah. So that's that's kind of like, but like if they are hungry and they think you have food and they start coming up to yeah. you and then yeah. they um. And then they realize you don't have food, they could hurt you. And that's where, so like, okay. but normally they, they try to keep their distance from you because they're also so, territorial. So what kind of stuff do you feed something like that? Just meat or what? Or? Apples. A lot of people feed them apples. Oh, that, um, oh okay. okay. Carrots. They're, they're vegetarians. Okay. They eat the leaves off of this tree here. So that's what he's trying oh, to get okay. to. Yeah, oh, okay. that's why up here it looks kind of bare, is because they like to come up and eat this part of the tree. So now how far is that away from you right there? Um, I was in my car, um, and I zoomed in a little bit, so it wasn't too far. <coughs> oh, oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Turkeys. Oh, so, so then you actually stopped and took a picture. That ain't, that ain't anywhere near your house then, right? I think it was on my way home. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Because I see the car parked in a car park there. And... 
yeah, I was, it was just, a. I was heading home, I think from work or something like that. And I saw, yeah, awesome. so I, I yeah. stopped for a minute and took a picture. Yeah. Yeah, they're cute. I like, I like the elk. I like that. Um, yeah. I live close I know, to nature I know, like uh, that. Robin's, I know Robin's problem out there. She's got a problem with uh, bears. So I don't know if I'd rather see that. Or a bear. I think I'd rather put up with that because you know you, you know it's probably not going to come at you right away. Well, I don't know if a bear would too, but I don't know. Yeah, I think uh, we have <laughs> bears out here too. Um, and but bears generally stay away from people if they can't help it. But it's kind of the same yeah. thing with food. If they realize like, oh, we can get food from like this particular like this trash can. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, they'll they'll show up and try to get the food. Um, <laughs> it's kind of and here too, yeah. uh, deer like apple too, because I know a guy that uh, just before hunting he uh, throws a bunch of apples where where he hunts, so the deer um, so, so the deer come on, yeah. with the anim, uh, with the apple, yeah, so the deer come around, so you know. Yeah, I was watching Robin, a... they come by her trash day so they help themselves yep yeah we have so we have bears out here but they um but like i said i don't usually see them in town that often um but we do have what we call javelina and they're they look like pigs but they're not pigs but um oh, okay. they're actually yeah, part of the rodent family okay. here i'll show you uh javelina yeah. oh what a name Javelina, they're technically they're like a picaris or whatever they're called. Um, okay. <coughs> and um, here, let me. Oh, so Miss Robin's got a uh, deer, deer by her. Yeah. So then you got an outside zoo, then Miss Robin, probably. <laughs> <laughs> But this is a javelina. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. they look like pigs, but they're not pigs. Oh, yeah, and, they um, do, yeah. <coughs> and um, we have them out here. We have a lot of them out here. And they'll do the same thing with the trash cans. They'll knock over the trash cans and go through your trash. And they're not, they are, they're, how do I say this? They're not violent, but they are also territorial. And if they think you have almost food. Almost headwise, it almost kind of reminds me of one of those. Not ant eaters, but those um, those um, uh, what do they call uh, armadillo? A little bit, just by the head, just the big one's head a little bit. Yeah, the way it's kind of shaped, it almost looks like an armadillo, you know. So. Yeah, and and like I said, they're they're not here. Let me show you Arizona ones because that was a South Texas one because they're all in yeah, the, Jen Arda. the yeah the baby yeah the baby yeah I agree with Jen Arda. yeah the baby does look cute yeah. Uh, well, I, I those, like those are just in the wild. those are just in the wild too then or what? Yeah. See them? That's a javelina. Oh, yeah, and they they oh, yeah. they travel in packs like this. And like I said, they'll um they'll come into the neighborhood at night. They mostly you mostly see them at night in in like town and stuff like that. But sometimes right. you'll see them during the day, and um they'll eat um almost anything except for meat, but they'll go through your trash. And um, Oh, that's another trash meter. Okay. Yeah. Are they dangerous? The short answer is not intentionally. And that's what I mean. Like, they're territorial. So, like, they don't want you to come near them. Sorry. But um, also, though, like, if you, if you, if they think you have food or if they feel like you're threatening their, like, their territory, then they will attack you and they can, they can quite mess you up. I mean, they've got some pretty wow. bad um, teeth wow. and yeah, they can't really I'll see, see you, very Ann. well though. Bye Carrie. Carrie Ann's got to go. See you Carrie Ann. I'll have to take my record out and play it later. Sure. No. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's what any animal, right? If you don't, yeah, you can make friends with it by, um, by sharing your apples and that, but as soon as they come around, you don't have nothing. They can really mess you up. Yeah, they can mess you up, like, and they can attack dogs and stuff oh, wow. like that. But they can't see very well. 
even especially at oh. night. So it's they're kind of like big dummies. They're like big, <laughs> big dummies. Big dummies. Yeah, they're okay. they're they're not the smartest, but yeah, they're, they're technically part of the rodent family. Yeah. Yeah, it does kind of remind you of uh, you know. Yeah. Here, let me see. Where is it? Um, I wonder if they are from the pig family. They're not a pig. Okay. They're they're called a Picard or whatever. Oh, okay. Well, they're not rodents. Um, I guess they're their own category. Yeah. Okay. But they're, but yeah, they're definitely not a pig. And a lot of people think they're pigs, but they're not a pig. And I guess there they're not little, considered there a, a rodent. Similar, there is a little similarity there, though. Yeah, I mean, they look a lot like pigs, and then they kind of, like, have the same characteristics as rodents as far as their husks and their teeth and stuff. But, yeah. I wonder what kind of noise they make. I wonder, do they squeal like a pig? <laughs> um, no, actually, they don't. Okay. I was just I've wondering. never really heard them. I've heard them, like, grunting and stuff. Okay. So how many times do you see them in a year? Oh, I see them all the time. Oh, you do? Okay. Yeah, I see them you all the time. Hang, you got any? Hang, you got any of them hanging out by you, or? Um, sometimes, like I said, I mostly see them at night going through people's trash. Next time I see, uh, next time I see that, I'll take a picture or a video for you, Pete. <clears throat> okay. Robin wants me to show you guys something. Yeah, I was gonna show. Yeah, she just sent you a message. She wants you to show you something, or her, you uh. See where did I thought I brought it up already? Let me see if I can. There we go. I got a buddy that just retired uh, a few months ago. Um, uh, his name was Dave, and at work, and he has uh, hunts bears. Holy shit! That's a That's black right bear. That's right up to the window. Yeah. He's sniffing. He, you see that? You see what he's sniffing at? It's that, um, it's that hummingbird feeder. Yeah. Yep. <coughs> yeah. We, we tried we, hummingbird feeders. We don't have too many hummingbirds around. I think they're more in the woods, but I've seen people uh, have them up. Though. I see a couple each year, but I think they're pretty cool. I, you know, when I used to work as a caregiver, the house I worked at had hummingbirds, and I always thought that was cool watching them in the morning. And yeah. then um, they they built a nest, and then they had babies, and so that was cool watching the babies grow. But yeah, well, I'm, I'm hoping. The, Robin says she can't reach the window from outside. So that's how tall Robin, it is. When, yeah, I know. Wow. Yeah. Um, yeah, I know those bears. And bears aren't initially violent. They only, they're the same like any other animal. They're, you know, they just don't want to be messed with. And if you, yeah, if they think yeah. you have food and then they might try to hurt you. Um, but yeah. Yeah, it's, it's just like any other animal. It's not like a grizzly bear. Grizzly bears are aggressive. Uh, those are asking me a question. Do we have river horses? River? Uh, no, we, have... we just got regular. I don't know what a river horse is. I know we got uh, regular we horses have... that people have that have on farms. I mean, when I go, when I leave for Brendan tomorrow, I can go like five miles and I can show you some on some farmland. But no, I don't, I don't even know what a river horse is. but we have river horses. horses <laughs> we have the Salt Lake River horses oh, okay. out here. Here, I'll show you that too. Alrighty. Sometimes with cubs too. By your back on. We've got a lot of yeah. We've got a lot of nature oh. out here. I know. I'm telling oh, you. I'm yeah. telling you guys that when Brendan gets out, <laughs> you and Brendan need to come out here, and I'll show you all around. See, these are the river yeah. horses that we have. It's called the Salt Salt River Wild Horses, and they are all down in the Phoenix area okay. where the Salt Lake is. And well, they almost um, look pretty close to the ones we have here. Yeah, like this is near 
because there's a they call it Sanguero Lake because it's like a big lake in the middle of the the desert. Okay. Um, and yeah, Salt they look pretty close to the ones we got here. Just that um, the ones we got here that people own them and they're on their farms. Yeah. They well, they're they're they basically well, yeah, they're wild horses oh, oh. and. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're just like regular wild horses, and then um, there's an actual program though where they'll 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 um, I want to say kidnap, but they'll try to capture um, the horses, and then they'll take them. There's the prison down there in Florence. They actually have a horse okay. program where they'll um, bring the horses in, and then they'll train them, and then they'll sell them to whoever wants to buy a horse. So, oh, okay. Um, because the horses down there are actually um, um, endangered, I guess, or whatever. So it's it's their oh, way okay. of trying to conserve the horses. Well, thanks for uh, bringing that up, there, Dozer. See, look at that. That's pretty, a pretty picture. Pretty, this is part of Sanguaro cool. Lake right here. Okay, pretty cool. Boy, it looks it's like you got some nice. Uh, Nice um, scenery there by you. Oh, yeah. This area right here is gorgeous yeah. to drive through. I used to drive through it when I went to go visit Devin when he was at the Florence prison. That's, okay. I would take the back road, and it would go through Singoro Lake and all that, and you would see the see all of that stuff. So, yeah. Wild <laughs> horses. All right. Playing in the Salt Lake. Kind of that one that you just had on that kind of reminded me of Colonel Potter's horse for Mash. This yeah. one? Sophie. I don't know. Maybe the left one. Did she have more of a white or maybe, I don't know. One of them kind of remind me of, uh, I don't know, you remember Mash, right? Yeah. I don't yeah. remember a lot of it, but yeah, I know oh, okay. Mash. Yeah, Colonel Potter had a horse at the end. or um, They found a wild horse and then they yeah. There, so. What other animals do you guys want to see from Arizona? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's wild horse day today. Uh, wild bear today. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, I, yeah, you're you're not far enough to have kangaroos. I'll have to ask. Uh, oh no. Fall on that one. So. Uh, yeah, very interesting. Yeah, All we got is. Uh, Two thousand different kind of blackbirds and uh, and <laughs> well, we got robins and and uh, we got we got some nice birds uh, too, hummingbirds and stuff. But uh, we got the bears here, and uh, what else can I think of? Uh, we got the you deer. Got, yeah, you got the deer. You got the um um the martins, the purple martins. Yeah, you and then I heard turkeys. that by you guys, you got some different guy. Yeah, turkeys, pheasants. Um, uh, by by you or around by you, I know uh, somebody showed me different kind of birds. You know, more more colorful. So. Oh know. yeah, we've got lovebirds out here that are wild. You know the lovebirds yeah, yeah. that they. So, you know, yeah. You got, uh, robin, rat, raccoon, squirrels. We got raccoons and squirrels here. Yeah. So we've got a lot of that. Yeah, different. Uh, you know, different to... uh, yeah, different. <coughs> different animals, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Twerk, twer, twer, I was gonna say twerkies. Twerkies. <laughs> uh, twer, twer, it's turkeys and quails. I'm trying to find follow Robin here. She's got. Oh, turkeys and owls. Sorry, twerkeys. Yeah, I, think my eyes, I like I think that. My eyes are going. My eyes are going to. Yeah, twerkeys and owls. She's got. Yeah. We've got. Yeah, we've got those things too. Um, we do have some. Got some foxes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We have some foxes too. I the other day. Um, some uh, coming to Manitoba, I've seen some. Uh, not silver foxes. I've seen some red ones. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let me look up Stanfield, Arizona. How far am I from there? How far are you from where? Stan Stanfield. Do you have river horses there? No, I don't. 
just the regular ones. Oh, that's that's a message from before, right? Yeah, I'm <laughs> about two Sorry, hours I'm and thirty. Totally, I'm not totally myself here, so you're fine. I'm two you hours and thirty there. minutes away from there, Sheree. Two hours and thirty. Oh, oh yeah, coyotes too. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty far from there. Why are you coming out here, Cherie? <laughs> Seriously. I'll meet up with you halfway if you want. Heck, I'll drive. It's not that it's not that um it's it's not that big of a deal for me to drive two hours in Arizona to get somewhere because everything is two hours away from where I live. So everything's two hours away. Yep. Oh, everything's... So, you live on, so you don't live right in, right in the bis, bi, business district. You just, uh... I live in the middle of nowhere in the mountains okay. and everything, everything. If I want to go to Phoenix, it's two hours away. If I want to go to Flagstaff, it's two hours away. I want to go to Prescott. It's two hours away. <laughs> I want to go to. Wow. Yeah, everything's two hours away. Wow. Yeah. Except your workplace. <laughs> yeah, my workplace is five minutes away. Yeah. African people call it a river horse. Everyone calls them okay. rhinoceroses. It was a joke. Okay. Okay. Thank you, there, uh, Tozer. Yeah. Yeah. Um. One of these days, I would love to have like a Arizona supporter meetup where we all meet down in Phoenix and we just meet up and talk and stuff. But um, my schedule is always all over the place. And but yeah, I know there's a bunch of supporters out here. So one day that yeah, would be cool. Yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I heard so many. Um, so many interesting things about where you live there, definitely. Yeah. Well, you're always welcome to come now out here far, and see it. Now, how far do you got to go so you can see it? So how, yeah. So how far do you got to go before you run into a cactus? <laughs> uh, two hours. <laughs> or you got him in the backyard. Not where I, I live. I knew you were going to get me on that one. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought maybe, oh, I tripped over one in my backyard, so I don't have to wor worry about going two hours. No, yeah, no, not where I live. We live too high up in the mountains for cactuses. I'd have to go down to Phoenix. Okay. Oh, so you're serious? That another be a two-hour drive? Yeah, two hours. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. You're stuck on two. Yep, yep, two hours. Yeah. Um, where I live is where mostly pine trees are and all that. So, oh, okay, you kind of sort you kind of uh, uh, described my area a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. East coast in the house. Yeah, that's where Jen R's from the east coast. Yeah, she. Yeah, lives, I was looking uh, at my. Um, I was looking at my Martin thing. Um, yeah, evidently, I don't know why, but uh, they, yeah, they don't come up your way. I don't know why. If it's just your, I'm sure you got a lot of insects and everything there, don't you? Oh yeah, we've got tons of insects. I think they yeah, come out whenever, here. Whenever I look at the map, I don't know. I should actually uh, see if I can pull one up and show you. Um, I know there's. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. Somebody asked me that the other time. Uh, how come they don't come to Arizona? I don't know. I, uh, I think they do, though. The... Oh, okay. Yeah, unless, because... Unless they do it, but people don't have, have it set up for birdhouses because uh, when, you're in, uh, uh, when you're in the thing like I am, you report when you see one, and then it goes into the... Um, it goes into the... Um, uh, whatever, uh, I'll see if I can punch it up right away and kind of give you a, a take what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, because I, I, when I bought you a Purple Martin thing for from Brendan, I started getting yeah. the Purple Martin magazines. Like, they oh, sent me, like, the ones, free... The ones, the, ones that, the ones that I get uh, from um, uh, Pennsylvania? I'm not sure. Um, okay. But it's, I, know it's there's, some... I know there's more than... I know there's more than one company that has that, but I'm I'm from the one from uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but I, no, you yeah. will you will get something because they want you to to keep buying. You know, I yeah. don't have one handy, so I can't. Uh, yeah. Well, next time I get one, I'll sh I'll take a picture I of it and send it to you. I had, I have, I even had one. I think I showed everybody. I even have an issue with, uh, with me, uh, with me in there standing in front of my houses when I gave them a story one time. Yeah, I, you showed us that article. Yeah. Yeah, I was, I was on there once. Yeah. So. But um, I, yeah, cool. I, uh, I, I was reading the, the, I was flipping through it, and they were talking about how the purple markings actually go down the Tucson. Oh, okay. So, yeah, we get Purple Martins, just probably not in my area, but I guess when it gets too hot or too cold up where you, they start migrating down to South Africa or, no, South America, Yeah. right? And then one of the yeah. places they stop by is, is Tucson, so. Yeah. Yeah, there's like a whole Tucson society of Purple Martin people. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, but yeah, next time I get that magazine, I'll, I'll take a picture of it. And yeah, I was then... just uh, going on my phone. This is uh, uh, um, the, the mail. Well, the mail is actually, if you put it towards me, the male is all, the all purple one, and the female yeah. is the other one. Yeah, so that's what they look like. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, otherwise, um, yeah, I can't, uh, I wanted to look up, uh, I want to find a map. I can't find a map, so. But uh, otherwise, just uh, keep talking. Maybe I'll, you know, when you want to try and find something right away, it doesn't work, right? Right. No, I yeah. get you. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, uh, I bet, enough, I bet you, you wanted to punch up a moose. I bet you could find that up right away, right? <laughs> well, you Just probably kidding. have that bookmark, don't you? Uh, oh, I don't know. Um, oh, moose. Yeah, I got. Uh, I got my own. Uh, well, it all depends if if. Uh, uh, let's see if you uh, if you want to go to the very first show I was on. There I am, right there. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. See. Yeah. So yeah. Um, yeah. So rally. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah Sorry. Um, uh, what? Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, no problem. So rally is still coming up, guys, and I've decided that I'm definitely gonna be there. Um, I've been talking to actually Robin a little bit um, through Messenger, and I might do the whole live in your car thing for the time I'm out there, which I'm actually kind of like excited for because. I've always wanted to do something like that, um, like as far as van life. But yeah, so I'm interested to see how that goes. Um, yeah, here's why uh, when I had color in my hair and I'm working, I'm uh, I have my uh, purple uh, Martin shirt on. Oh, well, there so you I, go. Yeah. Now let's see. I wonder if this is the light that's. Oh, yeah, you can see it a little better now. Yeah, and then uh, here's. Uh, me and then there's a couple Martins up on the house or on the house if you can see it. That's so cool. Yeah. Yeah, when you're out there they when the more you're out there they get kind of used to you. When you first uh when you first go out there they fly away, but then when you're out there now like say if I hang out there and cut the grass, um yeah, they they kinda watch watch you. What the heck are you doing with the lawnmower, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. But, but yeah, you then, got your okay. Go ahead. No, I was your, just gonna say I I mailed off a bunch of postcards the other day too, so people should start 
um, getting those. Um, and then uh, next time I get paid, I'm going to buy more postcards. I'm going to start um, buying stuff for the rally, like, um, like I said, postcards. Um, I have a bunch of stickers and stuff that I'm just going to uh, – bring with me i have the banner from like what was it two years ago and i'm just gonna mark off the the last number and add four so that way it's up to date um i'm gonna make the i'm definitely i've been i hadn't made the t-shirts yet because i'm um still uh trying to figure out in my head what I want to do. And I think I figured it out completely. So I'm going to do, uh, um, I'm, I'm going to start definitely making those t-shirts and then, um, I don't know, like I've done it before kind of when I was younger, Jen R, just not in the same way that I'm planning on doing it, but like a lot of people do it. So I think as long as I, uh, just keep, you know, aware of my surroundings. I'll be fine. Like, I'm not that worried about my okay, safety, got, to be honest with you. I got the purple Martin map up uh, where the where the purple dots are. That's where they, they usually go. Oh, yeah. If you can see where Arizona is, they don't – I don't understand why they wouldn't go over that far. The purple means uh, the adults, and the yellow means when they have a baby from last year. And yeah. they're, uh, before they're they, before they're considered adults, uh, they got to uh, have a year go go by, and then uh, they're considered adults. But that's um, but that's uh, oops, uh, that's uh, um, yeah, that's the babies. That's how far to be. I don't know if that's a recent map, but yeah, it's yeah. getting pretty close where uh, where they're almost. Well, they're not all here yet, but they're they're coming up. So yeah, yeah, it's well, kind of cool. cool. Yeah, this will be well, my like twenty seven. This will be like my twenty seventh year doing it. So twenty seventh. Oh wow. Yeah. So um, uh, I know two houses are survived this year yet. I think uh, the third one not. But uh, I, I always wanted to build new ones, but the way the the wood is so expensive. I know but, everything's you know. getting expensive. That's kind of the reason why I'm going to sleep in my car. <laughs> Because everything's getting so expensive. Um, well, and then, okay, so I can probably, yeah, I can probably park in front of Pete's house if he'd let me um, while I'm out there and just sleep in my car. <laughs> um, but I'm probably going to find, because um, they actually have, like, uh, if you go to, like, a national park in the area, um, you can actually park your car for free at the national park and sleep there, which a lot of people have been doing. Um and then um, I'm actually going to do the, it just sounds silly, Cherie, but I'm going to do like a trial run on my next, like, like for instance, I have Monday off. So I don't know if I'm going to do it this sad Sunday, but I'm going to kind of like try to sleep in my car um, just to see how, like, I'm going to actually like make it comfortable and then um, like make get coverings for the windows and all that so then i at least have some privacy and then try to sleep in it um on the on a day off so that way if if it doesn't go well if i don't get a lot of sleep then at least it won't affect my work the next day um but yeah so i'm, I'm gonna play around with it and see um how it goes and 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 it's only for a week too it's not it's not like I'm going to be living in my car. It's just while I'm traveling out there and then for the few days I'm out there and then coming back. So, um, I don't know. Like it's, it's something that I've always wanted to do anyway, but in like a van, like I've always wanted to get a van and then convert it into something like that because it's, it is a popular thing that a lot of people are doing these days and it's cheaper. Um, and I don't know. And like a lot of people are now doing it with the cars and, and the only thing that I might have an issue with is because I do have a small car. Uh, so yeah, see Robin's on the same page. Cause I, you know, um, I do want like, like there's this one chick um, who, who lived in her car cause she was homeless, but she actually like lived in her car and you know, 
she was on YouTube for a little bit, and I don't know what ever happened to her, but, um, you know, there's, there's places where, like, you can go take a shower for, like, a day, you know, and you pay for, like, a day pass or, you know, whatever. So, like, I just want to try it just to say I tried it. I don't know. But we'll see how it goes. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, trial run just to see if it if it works out um <laughs> and then i'm like right next to my house too so if i'm like uh you're driving a go-kart well that's the only thing i issue i have jen R, is, is i i don't know if it would be comfortable um for me because i am a big person so um but we'll see what happens like because like even if i sleep in like the front seat with the 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 seat held back, like that might be enough for me, you know? I don't know until you try it. So, yeah, I'm not a young whippersnapper where I can just crawl into the back seat again and curl up in a ball. <laughs> <laughs> I used oh to do God. that. Yeah, when I was well, younger, I would for, travel. Hearing it from you, it's so funny. I mean, I could yeah. state that same, same situation here, but uh, no, I'll just let that one go. Yeah, well, oh, like I used to curl up into a ball. Well, like when I was uh, younger, and I I traveled a lot more when I was younger, and um, yeah, I used to just pull over in a gas station and uh, just curl up in a ball in the back seat and just fall asleep for a few hours, and I was good. But now I'm a little bit older, and you know I have back issues, and yeah, yeah exactly, that'll okay. hurt your back back. Exactly, so that's why I'm like now I'm a little bit not built for that but now you might you might try and make your little ball but you might might not be able to get out of it <laughs> yeah no I, i'm you... not making money i just that i i can see me trying it and which part is gonna snap first you know <laughs> right exactly well i mean that's that's yeah. kind of why i, I want to do a trial run to make sure that um it will yeah. be somewhat comfortable for me sleeping well, in the car the, yeah what your, what's your vehicle i can understand but you know um yeah it would be different if you had some sort of van or uh yeah you know, or, or, you know and you were doing it but uh yeah um like jen r said uh uh, uh a golf cart but that was a joke but yeah you do have a very small car and there's smaller cars than that them smart cars i wouldn't even get caught and one of Christ, you get in an accident. Oh my God, at least you got something there, you know? Yeah. Um, so for people that are interested, this is a Brendan channel, but I have been covering the Elijah Vu case on this channel. Yeah, um, it's kind of fading out what's going on with that. And I'm even into rivers. Yeah, so um, I have been following it and I actually did a live like a couple of nights ago um, discussing what what's been happening recently with the Elijah case and I'll post the link here for people that actually want to like listen to the whole entire live in its entirety, but I'll give you a short little synopsis is basically the Avery salvage yard was searched um, for Elijah, but it wasn't because the Avery's have anything to do with the, with the child being missing. It had absolutely, it's not that the police suspected him, um, it had nothing to do with that other than the fact that it was just another large piece of property in the area that the kid could have been missing from. Um, so they uh, did search the property. They had volunteers and they didn't find anything. So it had absolutely nothing to do with the, with the fact of the, with the family being suspect it had nothing to do with with anybody connected to the property it was just simply another property that is in the area that they just wanted to roll out so um i did talk to a family member um who you know is more who you can all probably guess who i talked to but like <laughs> and and they said that um yeah no it was just simply the uh, a search party um, asked if they can go on the property and search the area and um, just to rule it out. And so the, they were allowed to do that. 
And um, but the deal was no media sh was supposed to be involved, but because it is, you know, the Avery Salvage Yard and considering it, um, you know, the somebody did call the media. So the media wasn't on the property while they were searching, but you know, you see all these articles where they were taking pictures off the property. So, um, and I thought it uh, sold. You see, there's a lot of people that are out there um, saying that it's been sold, but I, I don't know. I don't know a good answer to tell everybody because um, I don't know. Um, I don't think it's been 100% sold. Um, I know there are a few people who say they have the paperwork that it's been sold. Um, I know I know somebody that told me, um, yeah, it, it was sold, but um, I don't want to start any issues with somebody, but uh, uh, I, I got it from out of somebody's mouth. Oh, yeah, they bought it, and this year they're going to uh, – uh, we'll know by the end of the year, definitely. But uh, go, I, I got a good source. Uh, somebody said it was sold too, but uh, I'm not going to say something because right, uh, some, yeah, somebody will say something. But uh, I know they they definitely sold it. It just takes time for um, it's well, for it to go through. And then I could say, see, I told you so, but I'm not yeah. Gonna say anything, so. No, I know, I know, and I wouldn't want you to give your source out. But that, that's what yeah. I mean. Like, I, I don't know 100% for fact. I mean, I could ask the, a person, but honestly, it's like, it's, I don't know. What does it matter at this point? Um, uh, to I know me, yeah, a, I don't, uh, I mean, I, I used to work out there. I love the people out there. Um, yeah, whatever happens, happens. I mean, that's, that's up to them, guys. I'm not laughing because it is sold. I mean, whatever, but. I mean, I had my good times out there. I mean, I can't right. really say anything, you know, so. The last I, I heard that was a possibility, and this is just my theory. This isn't something that I've heard from anybody. But what could have happened is, is that it sold, and now they're liquidating the, the company, um, which basically means they're selling off their assets. So yeah. Yeah. It, it, that could be what's happening. And so they still technically are on the property, but they just don't necessarily yeah. own the property. But yeah. I, I don't know. Um, I well, just know that. Yeah I'll, go, yeah, I'll go with you on that because, you know, the source I heard it from uh, definitely said uh, they bought it. And then it just takes time for maybe, like you said, maybe it uh, they're taking, they're, they're selling their assets off before it becomes theirs or whatever. Right. Um, yeah. So it, it's, I don't know. And that's just my theory. I don't have yeah. any official word on it. Um, yeah. I just, I I don't blame them, you know. Um, oh, yeah. Fam it's, uh, yeah, yeah. Because I, you know, I heard it through outsourcing. I heard they weren't doing too good anyway. So, I don't know. Well, and then plus, you know, the, the guys are getting older as far as Chuck oh, and yeah, Earl. And yeah, if, they want to retire and yeah. yeah, and you know, if if nobody else is interested in taking it over from them, then you know, what is yeah. they, you know, yeah. so yeah. I I kind of understand it. And plus, it's their prerogative if they want to, you know, yeah. move on in their lives and do something different. Who knows? But um, yeah. we'll just have I to think... see if the, we'll just have to see if the source that told me. I even know the construction company that bought it, or I oh. even know. I even know who bought it, but uh, I asked the person, oh, you're crazy, you're crazy, but I just want to see when the, when the year is out that I can go back to this person and say, see, I told you so, but yeah. right away they said, don't well, you know, everything here, so I don't know. All we know is that time will tell, and yeah, as far yeah. as I know, the, you know, if if it's still – around during rally yeah, if time it's still around if it's still around next year well yeah then then uh then i got lied to so you know big deal that's not the first time somebody lied to me you know well maybe not lied to you but um was misinformed yeah. yeah but yeah. we'll we'll find out and all i know is is that this year for the rally we are going to be meeting at the avery salvage sign but we're not going to be going on the property um, the salvage sign technically is off property, so we are allowed to stand there and yeah. take a picture um, and do what we used to do. But 
it, it might be the last time. I don't know. I, I don't know. So um, all I know is, is that we're there to help and not hurt. So um, hopefully the rally, you know, goes off without a hitch. If there's only 10 yeah. of us, then there's only 10 of us. If there's a hundred of us, then great. But yeah. um, he sent me an email. I got a new phone, by the way, um, because my old phone um, completely was trash. So I'm still trying to set up my phone to the way um, oh. as far as notifications and stuff. Um, because I have a particular way that I like to have my notifications. So if, I, if you send me messages, emails, text messages, um, Facebook messages, um, and I don't read them right away or I don't get back to you, um, that's why. It's because not only am I battling my very forgetful memory and work schedule, but I'm also now have a, a new phone set up. I think I just got it actually. All right, cool. Yeah, see the first sentence is, hey, messenger not working for you. It's because I have a different. <laughs> <laughs> it's because yeah, it's, it's how, different for me I right know now. How, how it is getting a new phone because then, you know, maybe different buttons might be in a different place or I don't know. So. Yeah. Well, it's kind of like me and my wife. She, she got a new phone. I I passed on it, and uh, we we got the same kind of phone, but uh, hers is an updated one. Oh, mine doesn't look like that. So I mean, it it still does the same thing, you know. But I just opted, yeah. you know, opted not to do it because uh, I like a little smaller phone. Hers is so big. I don't I don't know. I I liked it when they got the the smaller. Uh, phones. I even got my other one. Uh, uh, this is a, um, I know this is an iPhone. I know a lot of people don't like them, but I do. Um, Apple iPhone. This is a 5SC, and here's my new one today. And you can see, uh, oh, yeah, it's see bigger. How, how much, yeah, and this one, this one here, you can actually put in my in my pocket. You don't even know what it's in there. This one here kind of sticks out a little bit, but. <coughs> Yeah, yeah, but uh, otherwise, yeah, hers is bigger than mine yet, so I don't know. Uh, if I want to do it, I'll get there as long as mine, as long as this one here works yet, and I know it's, you know, I know yeah. it's working. That's all that matters. Yeah. Well, my, I think my phones are the same size. Uh, it was the yeah. case that made them. Well, let me put. No, and this one is slightly that, bigger. That, that the grandkids come over. Holy shit! There's are almost twice the size. Uh, Rob, Miss Robin's asking if there's any special dinners for Brendan coming up. There are. <coughs> there, there are. Me... Yeah. Okay. I understand, um, Jen R. If if it is uh, super depressing, it's actually been really depressing for me too. I just feel very compelled to um, to follow it. I don't know if it's because I feel like. Because Linda would follow those sorts of stories. And I don't know, maybe I feel like because Linda isn't here to do it. Um, oh, she's talking about that Eliza story? Elijah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you, know when they do the, you know when they do the live interviews, they go by. Um, I always go past it in the morning. Well, when I come home to uh, the Mikado Theater the other morning, I, I, um, I'm i going past there. They're sitting out there already, and, it, and they don't broadcast till later but yeah, yeah there's different theories about that brendan thinks that uh brendan thinks that uh that somebody kidnapped them and they sold them off to something you know or whatever and, and uh well, i know the two rivers police um uh they don't think uh they don't think they don't think he's dead they, they, they think somebody just kidnapped them and he's he's just somewhere you know because nothing did turn up yet so at least if he's still if he's still alive you know, at least that's pretty good. You just got to find them, you know? Well, you know, and I keep holding out hope that um, the little boy is alive out there. And um, yeah. I actually hope that it might be some sort of situation where somebody needed or wanted a kid and, and took him um, and that yeah. he's being taken care of. Yeah. Um, but unfortunately, my gut tells me that um, the, the mom and the boyfriend did something to him. 
and the boyfriend. Um, I think he's a little lunatic the way they, the way they um, said that. You know, the way the things that he made him do and right. I think, and, and then I the first, police said that they um, they re gathered a couple pictures off the phone that they deleted. Right. And, yeah, and they weren't doing it, and, and they weren't uh, the greatest. So yeah, I think that guy's what, a little spacey. The, the husband's a little spacier. The boyfriend's a little spacey. Right. Well, that's that's kind of the the gut feeling I get is is that um, during one of those quote unquote punishments, something went too far, and yeah. um, the little boy unfortunately probably isn't with us anymore, and they got rid of the body. Um, oh, okay. And I hope I'm wrong. I hope that he's fine out there somewhere, being well taken care of, and. And, uh, and, and then the police officer did, did say even that if that comes into effect eventually, at least then there will be closure. Yeah. Well, and that's what I'm hoping for for the family that is left um, is, is that we do find out what happens and that the right people are prosecuted and justice yeah. is served, you know, so that at least the family can move on and, and Definitely, you know, yeah. do the best yeah. they can. Um so we do have a meal coming up, pizza meal, and spirit. With Typing it in. Brendan, yep. And what it's going to be. Is HP? No, <laughs> it's going to be May second. So I'm going to set it for May second at. I'm going to. I always try to do it at the morning time, so that way people. Um, have time to plan it and then I'll end it on the third so that way people the next day at 11 a.m. so people can um, yeah you have a day and then other who can see it will make it public Brendan and next meal he'd like for us to join Join How many words can you type a minute? Not a lot. <laughs> Spirit. Oh, it sounds like you're real. It sounds like you're really pecking really good there. Is pizza? Please join us. Let's <laughs> have some pizza. My keyboard's all messed up. Oh, it sounds like you're doing fifty words a minute. Not a minute. Pizza. Take a picture and post it here. We'll send them to Brendan. To enjoy. All right. Um, somebody asked me a while back ago if if it was torture for us to send Brendan pictures of things like food, pizza, whatever. And the answer is no. He actually really enjoys if you send him all sorts of pictures, but food in general, because he's a foodie and it, it's not torturous. So if you guys ever decide if you guys ever have like a really cool meal or something like that and you think Brendan would like to see it, he probably would. So don't be afraid to send him those sorts of pictures. Um, yeah, now when you text him, you can actually send him pictures now. Yeah. Yeah, he was telling me that. All right, create a vet. All right. Thank you for reminding me, Robin. <laughs> and then I will uh, post this in in the group. So if people want to, um, here's the actual. Wait, stop. Stop. Okay. Here is the. Invite. Wait, it's so different on the computer. Where is it? 
Oh, well, I'll just do it like this. No, I can't. See, what the heck? Where's the link? Here we go. Okay. There's the link for the event um, if people want to. If people want to join in, and I'm going to post it in the group too, so. But yeah, so it's pizza. I'm hungry too, so that sounds good. <laughs> Copy, share group, paste, post. There. I've been needing to do that for a bit. My memory's been so bad lately. Like I always say to you guys, but like, yeah. Anyhow. And how old are you? Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm 100 years old. Oh, really? Wow, Becca, you look really nice for 100. Thank you. <laughs> what kind of car do you have again? I have a Ford Fiesta. It's a small little, small little clown car. <laughs> yeah, I bet you that gets really good gas mileage, though. Oh my god! It does have really good. That's part of the reason why I got it. But I'm just not. Yeah. yeah. The street. It's a full Skittles. Can you send a puzzle? No, um, you can buy one from the catalog and send to him, but you can't actually just like send him one. Um, unfortunately, I wish you could. But what I need to do, Robin, is I need to Google like uh, living in your car Ford Fiesta and see how other people have done it and get ideas well, from them. Just, but yeah, there you go. Yeah. It's a four door. And it's got a hatchback. I don't know if the seats, I know the seats go down, but I don't know if, if it would be like, if I could lay on them, if that's what you're trying to get at with me laying in the back trunk with the seats down. I don't know yeah. if I could you have a, do that. You have a handy that you could show? Of, of the car? Yeah. Here. <laughs> I was just suggesting, so then that way you don't have to explain it. Uh, the picture will do all the rest. Ford Fiesta hatchback. And what year is that again? It's a 2019. Okay. Let's see. I don't want to, well... Or your, car, your car is a year, a year newer than mine. I got a 2018. 2018. Yeah. yeah. I like my car. It's a nice little car. Yeah. Yeah. You just need like a bedroll. Do I? <laughs> See, Robin's got this for me. But yeah. yeah, it's basically this. This is my car. There, there it is. Yep. It's got two doors. It's small. Um, the back back seat is very small um but, if you, but uh, like if you, um uh if you get one of those uh smart cars you cut that in half and that's a smart car <laughs> seats. So, yes have you ever seen a smart car back up i have yeah yeah there's not much to them yeah see i know what she's saying what robin's saying is that because this is what it looks like you could put these down and then yeah. um and then, yeah, I guess I could put a put a, like a little bed roll back there, and then just sleep in the back trunk area. That's actually not a bad idea. I'm probably gonna try that. Yeah. Yeah, Robin's getting it all planned out for me. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yep. 
Yeah, it's a very small little car. It's very small, but you see, look at this leg. It has no leg room in the back seat for anybody. Wow. It's very They're small, actually, but it's... it's you, you actually, if you're a big person, you'll be chomping on your knees all the way. <laughs> right. I feel bad when people are in my back seat. Very, you know, because I'm just like, I am so oh. sorry. It sucks. Oh. But, I mean, it is what it is. And, um, you know... Um, yeah, but it's comfortable for me as a driver. Like I'm comfortable in my car when I'm driving. It. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, but I'll definitely try that Robin. The only thing is, is that, well, and it's not a big deal actually, because I have my seat. Cause like I said, look at all that leg room. So my seat's a little bit back more because you know, I'm, I'm a bigger person. And, um, but like, if I have to put that seat down, then it always hits that. But I'm just now realizing, well, if I have, if when I do that, I can just put the seat back up. It's not that big of a deal to do that. So plenty of room and fold you front passenger seat forward. Yeah, exactly. So it, it might be very doable. Like I said, I was just thinking like, you know, I would have to like walk out the windows and then get something for the front window and the back window the front window, or these windows, I could just roll them down a little bit and stick like a towel or a sheet in there and then roll them back up and then I'll cover that. It's mostly the the back back window here. I'll have to try to figure out something, but like it's not that hard to figure out, you know. Maybe I can get some sort of Velcro tape and then just put, oh, that's a good idea, Becca. Velcro tape. <laughs> yeah, there you, go. you can live my there dream that yeah see i'll live, yeah. live vicariously through you Robin. <laughs> or you can live vicariously through me <laughs> yeah there you go you can let robin know how it is yeah and the other problem that i have to figure out is obviously power supply because i have a phone and i'm always on my phone so i'll just have to figure out how i can keep my electronics charged while i'm on the road um, so that's, that's the other thing, but you know, if I can take a shower somewhere, I'm sure I can borrow somebody's power outlet. Well, Can't keep a, all the windows I got closed. a, I got a charger for my car that, that powers up my phone. You should have one for yours too, huh? I do have something like that. Yeah. But I, I, I want to find something that doesn't keep the, that oh, I don't man. have to keep the car on the whole time to, oh, you know man. what I mean? You have to put the front seat down, the back seat forward, and you have plenty of room. Yeah. You forget the heat. Can't keep all the windows closed. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's true. Well, you know, that's what trial runs are for. i got a couple of months to figure it out, and I'm in the perfect state to, try to, to, to test out the heat theory. <laughs> yeah, if you have any questions, just call up Robin, and you guys can bunch your heads together, and she can be your navigator. <laughs> no, just kidding. Uh, yeah. Um, get a little fan yeah, USB for the car. Little, you do have a cool car, though. I like the way. Yeah, what, I like my color, car. What color is yours considering? Yours is I consider, consider it like a mint. There was actually a picture yeah, up here like of... Green. Isn't it? Yeah, kind of like a greenish, isn't it? Yeah, it... Yeah, you know what's funny is, is that, you know how everyone debates what color the RAV the RAV yeah. uh, is that's basically the same debate that we that you could have with my car. What color is my car? Yeah. Let me see if I can find the picture that I just saw. That was like that's my car. You actually got your this color. This is it. Yeah. What color oh, yeah, is it, this car? Yeah, it looks yeah, it looks kind of like a real, I don't know. What color is that car to you guys? Is it blue or is it green? I it, to me it looks like a light a light blue, but See? Uh, it is like it a, blue? Right, or right is there it right there it looks like a robin egg blue, but if you want to can you can you go Make it come yeah, let me... bigger and, and, and uh, enhance it. Right there, it looks like a robin egg blue. Let me see if I can bring it in for you guys. 
Yeah, because sometimes that makes the color more. Oh, there it is. Uh, yeah, now it looks kind of like a greenish blue. I don't know. Light yeah, green like, turquoise. Like, yeah, that's what Robin Some people are saying. Yeah. I always call it a mint color. It looks like a okay, mint. Okay, yeah, to me. yeah. There you go. Yeah. Blue or green? Hmm. Yeah. Well, now it looks more, yeah, because you brought it closer together. Yeah, it's not it's not blue. It's more like a mint, uh, minty green, I would think. I don't know. Um, the dates that I'm going are the dates of the rally. Good question. The dates of the rally are July, uh, I think, 11th, 12th, and 13th. Um, and let me bring up the actual poster that I made for this. Uh, yeah, uh, 11th, 12th, and 13th are the actual rally days, and I've requested off, um, I requested off a couple of days before and a couple of days after for me to travel out there, so uh, I think I'm leaving on the 9th. Whew, excuse me. And then I'm coming back. Um, yeah. I'm leaving that Sunday morning, too. So the rally is on um, the rally is, is going to be on the Friday, Saturday. No, it's going to be Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Yeah. And um, so on that Sunday, I'm heading home. I know. I, I was making a joke about the RAV in the color, but yeah. So is that the color they had for you, or is that the color you picked out, or you just fell in I love saw with the color? You I just really... Yeah, I really enjoyed the color. That was the biggest selling point for me. Hey, it's Becca's car. Um, hey, Egypt Mania. Yeah, it's been a while. Thank you for stopping by. We're probably going to be getting off here soon because it's been on for over an hour. Yeah, I know. And uh, I'm just, well, I'm not saying it to be me, but. Uh... Yeah, I gotta go uh, to the bathroom, and it's upstairs, so I gotta. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Yeah, we'll end it. If you need to go now, go ahead, and because I'm just gonna do my usual okay, wrap up. I'm just gonna, okay, I'm just gonna pop out. Hey, thanks for your to being here. I got one of those uh, situations where I gotta sit on the toilet, and <laughs> then I'm gonna be going back out with my friends and join them outside, and uh, we'll see how much we can get done today. So, adios from Mr. Moose. There I am, right there. Uh, thanks for everybody being with us. Uh, I, I thought I broke off my antler. Okay, <laughs> catch you guys later. Same bat time, same bat channel. Oh, have a good day, Pete. Yeah, stop yawning already. No. <laughs> right? <laughs> All right. And, um, All right. See yeah, you guys. bye. And, um, so real quick, um, before I officially end it, so that way Pete doesn't have to stay on the whole time and he can go use the bathroom. But um, basically, uh, like I said before, I sent off a whole bunch of postcards, so people should be receiving those. And I should, I'm going to try to order some more postcards, especially for the rally, because um, I'm going to do like I did last time where, you know, I fill them out while I'm out there and then, um, you know, um, mail them off while I'm out there. Um, now that I have an idea of what I want to do with the t-shirts, I'm going to start working on them. And definitely, I know I keep saying that, but I wasn't sure what design I was going to do. And now I kind of know. Um, so I'll be working on that and getting them ready to go. Um, and, uh, yeah, the pizza coming up in May and then, We've got June, and then the rallies in July. So, um, yeah, 
and I hope I see a few people out there. And I know it's a hard time of year, you know, with summer and stuff and family obligations. But hopefully I see a couple of familiar faces. If not, that's cool. I'll still be going live while I'm out there. And um, so you'll, so if, you, if anything, please stop by the live stream and um, share it out. And um, yeah. And then hopefully we get, uh, hopefully we, you know, it does something this year. And, um, yeah, so, I mean, that's, that's what I have. Um, yep. Uh, make sure you send a card or a letter to Brendan. And, um, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, that's what I, I'm trying to think of what the next holiday is, and I can't think of it. Other than Mother's Day, if you guys want to send a card to Barb for Mother's Day. Egypt Mania. I heard something was happening on 415. Oh. Oh, right. Yeah. I've, I've been kind of following... Um, and I, I've been kind of, um, um, I guess, uh, KZ filed something and the state filed something in response. And then, well, they're going back and forth. So we'll see what happens. I hope they eventually just release the RAV and let it be tested. But, I mean, a lot of people's theories are is that the RAV isn't around anymore. So uh, it could just be a, um, you know... Uh, what you call it, where they're trying to uh, uh, stall or whatever, but um, hopefully something good happens in the case. Some good, something good breaks through, and you know it's enough to to do something. Oh, sorry, I keep yawning. That's a good sign that I need to get off of here. So, <laughs> um, I hope everybody has a great day, and I hope everybody. Um, does something good and something nice for everybody and um yeah do something nice for brendan and do something nice for your neighbor all right peace out everybody it means everything you know to have a family that loves and supports me no matter what and uh they always have my back you know yeah and it really is heartening to know that so many people care and still care and what would you tell people that want to get involved, that, that have seen your story, who didn't really have any idea of what goes on in our justice system, but now they do? Is there anything particular that you could advise someone? Um, just keep fighting for me and uh, keep showing your love and support.